so I just finished leg day today and I was barely made out of the gym. I was wobbling like Bambi, which is a good thing. That means I had a really good workout. And before the gym, I had a little protein with pineapples. That's what my coach is ha having me do daily now. And then post gym, I have my protein shake, post workout formula, and then now we're on to breakfast. So for breakfast, it's four eggs at the moment. And then I'm gonna be making a little shake here in a minute, which I'll show you. And the competition is gonna be, I believe, Saturday, August 12th, Muscle Beach, Venice, California in LA. So it's really local for me, which is awesome. It's really close. I don't have to like get a hotel and do all that. I might, I don't know. I gotta think about that. Uh, just so that I don't have to like worry about commuting in the morning and driving and all that. We'll see. Hmm. I don't know. Um, I don't want you guys to think this is easy for me. This has never been easy for me. It's like a day to day struggle. I'm gonna put this on low because we're boiling now. Timer. Yeah, in all honesty, dieting is the hardest part about getting competition ready. It's it's not the training or anything else or the supplements or or the routine or getting enough rest or, or having to go to work and being sore AF. Those things are difficult, yes, but the most difficult thing is by far the diet, in large part because I'm eating the same thing every day, multiple times a day, often. <laughs> uh, the thing that really just drives me nuts that I have to eat every day is this, broccoli. Broccoli is my good friend for getting in shape, but it is the bane of my existence for enjoying my meals. I, I despise the taste of broccoli now. I used to think it was all right. And I've just eaten it so much for so many years now <laughs> that I despise, I despise broccoli. <laughs> I feel like a little kid again. Like I wanna put cheese on it or something just to make it palatable. It's, it wouldn't be bad. I, I, I never disliked broccoli really until the point where I had to eat it multiple times a day, every single day. And now it's like just, I just loathe. Broccoli, I loathe it. I don't think I could be any more clear about that. <laughs> All right, time to make a smoothie while these guys are on low for the next 12 minutes. So now it's smoothie time and this is gonna go along with my eggs for my morning breakfast. Greens powder. The one I'm using right now is called Green Vibrance. Makes you vibrant. Got cinnamon. I think this is the very last of it. Yep. And I'm supposed to have a post-workout banana. I haven't had it yet, so I'm just gonna add it to my smoothie. And then it'll be delicious. Hey Duke, come here, Bubba. Come here, buddy. As some of you know, Duke loves bananas, so he gets a little bit. Come here, Bubba. So, also as a lot of you know, uh, Duke suffers from anxiety, and for some reason um, he doesn't really like the kitchen area. Um, I don't know if the owner who had him before used to like punish him or, or hurt him when he was near the kitchen. So, I have a hard time getting him into the kitchen, and even if I talk to him sweetly, and sometimes he'll just, uh, he'll pee himself, and he did a little bit right now, and that makes him even more anxious because he feels like he did something wrong, and he knows it, and he'll, uh, he'll, he'll like, kind of, like, cower away. So, I'm gonna clean that up real quick, and then get back to it. Oh, also, uh, I'm gonna be moving, so my surroundings will change. It will, I can just be creative and I can get my office area set up and I can do my vlogging, my filming and have my equipment set up and not have to like put it up and tear it down all the time and just have everything set up so that I can create the best quality content for you all. Okay, I'm gonna add a little bit of water to this just so I can get good consistency and it's not too thick. And that's that. preparing these eggs in a really uh, like European style way where you just take off the top of the shell and get a small spoon and eat it right out of the egg holder like that with some salt. It just reminds me of home and it's um, just a really comfort, comforting way of eating eggs for me. All right, time to eat. So 
recently, something that I've been thinking about is what it means to be coachable. Because when I do my prep, um, as a lot of you know, I work in, in a restaurant as well, and I bartend there part-time. And I get a lot of people, when they're asking me about my prep, asking like what I eat, and I basically explain that I'm eating the same thing often multiple times a day and every day it's the exact same and they're like well why can't you eat why can't you have salmon instead or why can't you eat some kind of white fish or why can't it be chicken or this or that and my answer is because my coach tells me what to eat and that's what I eat and they're like oh okay but I don't get like can't you just like switch it up or do something different and my answer <laughs> is I repeat, my coach tells me exactly what to eat and that's what I eat. And I think a lot of people have a hard time um, wrapping their heads around that because we have the tendency to want to say why and to to want to do things our way and if we get tired of something then we, we want to like switch it up. But the reality is every athlete, amateur, pro, whatever, every athlete at some point or another is going to need a coach and you have a coach for the sole purpose of coaching you, of telling you what to do, how to do it, when to do it, and how much to do it, you know? So for me, it's not a matter of why do I have to eat this certain these certain things at this certain time of day, every day, repeatedly. I You would never, like, if you're training for a sport and your coach says, go and run five laps, you're not gonna say, well, why five? Why can't, can I just do three? Or can, uh, can I do six? Because I have a lot of energy today, or whatever your coach gives you your regimen and that's what it is that's that's what i i pay for my coach and that's what i pay him to do so part of being coachable is just to you you're relinquishing control and you're trusting that this person who is a professional and that knows what they're doing is going to guide you to success in the most efficient and best way possible so when i have a coach and i'm getting ready for competition that's exactly my mindset is my um my personal opinions, my personal desires or wants are, are, not, <laughs> are not on the table and don't matter. It's just a matter of my coach sending me my diet plan, my cardio plan, anything else, supplements, anything else that might be pertinent, and then following that to the T as best as I can. And going off of that, following the, the routine, we're human, so, you know, um, we're gonna make mistakes, we're gonna mess up, we're gonna not uh, adhere like, the, like we're supposed to. So the next big part of being coachable is uh, being able to be accountable. And the only way to do that is, is honesty. So you have to be able to communicate and be honest when you cheat or when you don't do all the cardio that you're supposed to do or the training or, <laughs> that's my phone, or the supplements or anything. You have to be able to communicate that because if you don't, then the coach can't adjust accordingly. And that's so important. And that's so crucial to accountability though. And if you're not honest about what it is you're doing or not doing, then the only person that's, that's gonna suffer or hurt from that is you. So you're just cheating yourself in the end. Who is blowing up my phone right now? <laughs> so, oh my God, that is four messages, five. Are we done? Are we done? Can I talk? So the big takeaway that I want you guys to get for me when I'm getting ready for competition and having to, to go through training and cardio and supplements and diet and all of that is uh, my brain and my thinking kind of goes away and I just do as I'm told. He says jump, I say when, how high, how many times and what form do you want me to have? <laughs> and that's that. And, 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 and the thing is, I think this applies not only to other sports, but it applies to any situation where you might be in where someone is mentoring you or coaching you or helping you learn a skill. Um, a lot of times it might not make sense to us in the moment, but it's best if we're gonna trust a professional, if we're gonna trust a mentor, if we're gonna trust a coach, just to follow their lead. The worst that can happen is that it doesn't work out best for you and then you know for next time. But the first time around, you gotta do as they say. You just take it as it comes. So be coachable. <laughs> I'm gonna eat now, I'm hungry.